black flame of the Amazon, featuring Harold Noyce, world-famous explorer in person. <laughs> Recall, we left off just where Mr. Noyce, standing in the bow of the Indian dugout, had succeeded in harpooning a giant piriracu, that enormous fish found in the Amazon River and tributaries. The struggle to land this big fellow was just about to begin when little Jimmy Brady, looking back to the shore, sees a large gray something creeping stealthily toward his little sister Jean, who is on the sandbar watching the struggle with the fish. The large gray thing is a jacare, a giant Amazon crocodile. Give me that rifle. Quickly, Jimmy. Quickly. Here it is, Mr. Noyce. Gosh, don't miss. Please don't miss. Here, Jimmy. Take my harpoon line. Pass it along to Pedro. Okay, Mr. Noyce. Maybe I can hold the line. Oh, Pedro. Steady back there now. Keep this canoe steady. Now, swing the bow in towards shore. Uh, that's it. Now, just let it drift. Everybody sit still. I'm trying a shot from here. Steady, everyone. You got it, Mr. Noyce. You got it. Keep still, Jimmy. Keep still. Gene isn't out of danger yet. Gosh, no. Look at it struggle, will you? Yeah, threshing around on the sandbar. One touch with that big armored tail, and it'll be just too bad for Gene. Now sit tight, everybody. Uh, well, that's that. Gene got a scare, but nothing more. Good thing you were looking back at shore, Jimmy, or we might have been too late. Oh, that be Jacqueline. She's not creep up on any little senorita no more. <laughs> that was the very good shot, Senor Noise. You know, it is not so very easy from this... Look canoe. out there. Look out. Yeah, give me that line, Jimmy. My harpoon line. Steady now, everybody. I can hardly hold him. This fish has power, all right. Will you look at that thing jump out of the water? Say, it is as big as a whale. Where did it go now? Yeah, well, he's going down again. Say, what if it goes down too deep and yanks this canoe upside down? Well, that isn't what we must guard against. The real danger lies in the fact that when that piriracu comes up again... He may come up directly under us. Uh-oh. I hadn't thought of that. So that's why you said it was a good thing I knew how to swim. Yes, and you can get ready any time. This fellow is good and mad at the whole world, and at my harpoon in particular. Jimmy. Yes, sir. You might keep an eye on the sandbar there. That croc is apparently dead, but you can never be sure. Keep an eye on the sandbar just in case. Okay, Mr. Noyce. But if that big fish comes out of the water again, like it just did that time, I don't see how I'm going to keep my mind on that sandbar. Well, if that big uh, piracocu come out of the water once again, just one little bit near this dugout, your mind will be in the river, Jimmy, and you will be with it. Stand by, Pedro. Line is slacking again. Si. Coming to the surface. Stand by to move fast. Si, si. If he breaks water anywhere near you, throw your harpoon. We're going to need two lines to this brute. Mr. Noyce, maybe it might be a good idea to drop the harpoon lines and get out of here. Gosh, maybe we'll all go overboard. See, si, Senor Jim, we all go overboard. And these jungle water, uh, she is so wet, too. Okay, Pedro, but I've been wet before, lots of times. See, si, Senor Jim, but never so wet. This water here, 
She is so much more wetter. Oh, for goodness sake, yes. Oh, <laughs> y- oh yeah. I suppose the next thing you'll be saying that the fish wear raincoats, huh? Oh, <laughs> see, Senor Jim. Or else they get too wet, those fish, and they catch the most very bad cold, and they sneeze. <laughs> oh, see, see, <laughs> Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy, don't pay too much attention to Pedro. He's just trying to kid you. And don't I know it. Gosh, a fish getting wet and catching a bad cold. Fooey. Oh, me, Pedro, she is so sad. Nobody she's ever believed, Pedro. Not anymore. Too bad, Pedro. But if that big paracou happens to come up and bump its snoot against our canoe bottom, you won't only be sad, you'll be all wet. <laughs> <laughs> See, but you just watch, Pedro. When we all go overboard and take the big swim, you watch, Pedro. I just catch those big fish by the hind leg and then... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hind leg. What hind leg? Fish have no legs. Ah, that is right. No hind leg. Ah, see, see. But Pedro Shimin catch the whole of those big fish by the whiskers. (laughs) (laughs) So it's whiskers now. Mr. Noyce, what kind of fish are these in this river anyway? (laughs) All right, Jimmy. You're holding your own all right. Pedro, I think Jimmy doesn't fall so easy, does he? Doesn't kid well at all, eh? <laughs> <laughs> that is so, Senor Noyce. Well, maybe Pedro, she saved the kidding for the senorita, huh? <laughs> but, Mr. Noyce, you think this big canoe will tip over? It might happen, Jimmy. But listen, if it does, the first thing you've got Look to... Look out, Senor! Gee yeah. whiz! Yeah. yeah, that was a close one. There it goes down again. Eh, we're in for a long, tough battle here. You were saying, Mr. Noyce, what do I do if the canoe overturns? Just see that you're clear of the harpoon lines and start swimming. And keep swimming till you hit the sandbar. You understand? Yes, sir. Don't pay any attention to Pedro or I. You get back to shore. Suits me, Mr. Noyce. Yeah. I wish I was on shore now. But go ahead, Mr. Noyce. Don't mind me. I got myself into this jamboree, and I'm all through squawking. That's the stuff, Jimmy. And, Jimmy, you better grab that paddle. Get up on your knees and be ready. We may have to paddle like mad. But if the paracou comes up under the boat, we won't get much of a chance to paddle. Well, that is so, Senor Jim. But sometimes these big fish, when they are so angry, they will see the canoe, maybe blame the canoe for the trouble, and then there is more trouble. You mean that fish might head for the boat, go into high gear and give us a wallop with his nose or something? Well, nose or tail won't make much difference. If it hits us with either end, we'll know it. How's the sandbar back there, Jimmy? Oh, gosh, I almost forgot. Oh, say, it's all hunky dory now. Mm. Three of the Indian canoe men have come back out of the jungle. I guess they heard the shots from my rifle and took it as a signal to return. Well, that's all to the good. Now we can give our whole attention to the landing of this fish. There's a nice load of food for us here. We can get them ashore. But, senor, mm. maybe I push the dog out down river a little more. Then when the fish comes up once again, it will be at the back of me. Then my harpoon will go into action. Yes, no? Okay, Pedro. Let's slip down a little farther, then. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right, all right. Yeah, that's about far enough. Uh, now, Pedro, si. pass your harpoon and line up to me. Reach out and get it, Jimmy. Okay. Si. Si. It is, Jimmy. Watch the line. Hold the coil just so. Then it will not tangle. The one tangle, and it is very dangerous. I got it, Pedro. Coming up, Mr. Noyce. Here it is. Okay, Jimmy. Uh, Pedro, just hold the canoe about where it is now. Yes, we'll wait right here. Yeah, this fellow's crafty, all right. Seems to be taking his time. He's lying down there somewhere near the bottom. And that's quite a ways down, isn't it? How deep is it here, Mr. Noyce? Oh, I should say by the length of line out now, about 30 feet. And that's a lot of water in any man's country. But why don't we get a little more action? What's the fish waiting for? Why doesn't he do something? He'll do something, all right. Rest assured of that. Just have patience. You'll see a lot of fun yet. Get ready now, Pedro. Get ready. I feel the line slackening. He's coming up slowly. He may be getting a little tired waiting. Is he going to jump out of the river again, Mr. Noyce? Uh, You never can tell. He's liable to. Again, he may come up to the surface and lie perfectly still. That's what I'm hoping for, anyway. If I could just be sure he didn't go haywire and land smack into my lap or something, say, I'd kind of enjoy this fishing trip. (laughs) Well, Senor Jimmy, if he do go haywire, and like you say, he lands smack on your lap, please... Do me one favor. Do not try to hold him. You know, he does not like to be held by little boys. No. <laughs> hold him? Hold him? What do you mean? That fish is four times bigger than I am. How could I hold a whale like that? Oh, I'm not, no. But if you must hold him on your lap, please, do not hold him too tight. Say, Pedro, you're trying to kid me now. That's what you're doing. But it's no go. I've been kidded by experts. Listen, Pedro... If I had my way, 
I'd catch that big paracou in good old-fashioned way if you'd only help me. You mean you will catch the paracou like uh, they, you, they was back in the old country? You bet. In the good old way. If you'll only help me. Well, sure, I will help you. What is it you want Pedro she should do, eh? Well, then when the big fish jumps out of the water, Pedro, you reach out. Grab an armful, hang on to it, see? Uh, Pedro, she to grab the fish and hold on to it. Uh, but what is, uh, what is for? What well, will you do then, Senor Jim? <laughs> me? Well, I'll just reach over and put a little salt on his tail, see? You put, <laughs> you put some, you put salt on the tail of the big fish. I am not understand what it means. <laughs> well, that's one on you, Pedro. Yes, it's Jimmy's turn to do a little kidding now. You know, you had it coming to you. That salt on the tail is an old gag back home, you see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Pedro, that's what you get for trying to kid me. Oh, easy, Jimmy. Easy. Pedro, watch your paddle. Here he comes. You see him? Lying up near the surface. Yeah, you see the swells from the river there? Yeah, he's down a little now. Easy now. Say, how about me getting in a shot with this rifle, Mr. Noyce? Wouldn't that work? No, shooting down into water is always more or less uncertain. Wait, here he comes up to the top. I don't know just what to make of this, Pedro. This Perucu is acting very strange. You know, I'm thinking the very same thing, senor. This Perucu I'm helped to catch long ago. Oh, they was very angry fish. They was rushed here, they was rushed there. You know, they was dragged the canoe all over the river. Yeah, all right, Pedro. He's down on him. Steady now. I'll get up on my feet now. Here. Here, Jimmy. Yes, sir. Take the end of this line. Be careful now. You know that big fish is on the other end of it. Pass it along to Pedro. Couldn't I hold it, Mr. Noyce? I could hold it all right. No, no, Jimmy. No. You're not strong enough to hold it. Pass it on along to Pedro or you'll cut your hands to pieces. Yeah, that's it, Jimmy. Oh, Pedro. See. Si. Just a little more to port. See, si, see. Si. Uh, a little more. See. Si. Uh, now, steady. Hold her right there. Easy now. Yeah, there he is. I'll try another harpoon. Steady now. Steady. There. Yeah. Well, that was yeah. very good. Oh, oh. Yeah. he's heading up river now. Yeah. Hang on, senor. Yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy, get down to the bottom of the boat and hang on. Quick now. Gee whiz, how could I see from the bottom of the dugout? Oh, heck. Look out, senor. The big fish, she's turned, she's turned, she's come back this way. She's... Now we're in for it. Look out. If that fellow hits us, keep clear of the lines. Keep clear of the lines. Say, look at that, will you? Who said we can't stop it now? And Jimmy did it with his little gun. Whoopee! Whoopee! Gosh, just in time, too. That big South American fish, the Piratacu, was heading for trouble. If ever it had hit that dugout, good night. But Jimmy with the rifle did things in a hurry. That gun spoke, and the fish gave up. That's what a real boy can do when he gets the chance. And there are plenty more things Jimmy and Gene will do, too. So don't miss a single episode.